A lot of websites have started posting checksums for files right next to download links so you can verify the files haven't been tampered with. Have you been wondering how to use those? Well, stick with me and I'll show you how to check. All right, those checksum files are really just signatures and they're designed so that you can run a quick check to verify that you get the same signature. That'll tell you the file hasn't been tampered with and there's some easy commands to do it. So for example, I'm using the CentOS website here. If you go and download CentOS, you're downloading this file right here, this ISO image and they give you a nice big checksum right here of what that file should look like if it hasn't been tampered with. You can go and download the file from anywhere on the internet and quickly verify that the file has not been modified. So what we can do is if you download it, you can drop to a terminal and in the terminal we can use a very simple command depending on which type of checksum it is. It actually tells me right here on the screen that this is a SHA-256 checksum, right? So all I've got to do is get back to my terminal and I can run a SHA-256 sum on the file that I downloaded. Here's the CentOS 7 DVD, right? So I can run that against it and my computer will generate its own signature for that file and then it'll display it on my screen. And as soon as it displays, I can then compare that result with what was in the website. So I can go back to the website. I'm going to copy this and then back here in the command prompt, we can just echo that out. It's usually the easiest thing to do. And so now they're kind of side by side and I can look and compare them and I should get the same result as what was posted on the website. There starts with C44EE948, or actually that's, that's the one I generated. It starts with C455EE948. The one they posted started with the same and ends the same. There are mine ended in 19D97EB. Theirs ended in 19D97EB. So right there I just quickly verified that the file I have has been unmodified from the format that was sent out by the CentOS team. If it was a different checksum, there might have been like an MD5 sum, which is the older one. Hopefully you don't see those. There's an MD5 sum command tool. There's SHA-256, SHA-512 sum, and even SHA-1 sum. So there's a few different commands that are available, but the way they're used is all the same. We type that sum command, and then we provide the file we want to generate a checksum for, and it generates it. We compare it, and now we know that the file is intact. So the next time you go to download something and you see those checksums, don't just ignore them. You can quickly verify that your file is safe and intact and in the original format from what, the way it was provided from the creators. If you liked that tip and you want to learn more, be sure to check out our website over at itpro.tv. We have a whole content library based around IT technical skills and certification training where you can learn not just about Linux, but about all sorts of platforms like Windows, Mac OS, uh, cloud services like AWS and Azure, all that content is there just waiting for you to come and watch it. So be sure to check it out. I hope to see you there.